Becky here from Notes from the Sewing Room. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a little update on how I'm getting on with my upcycling projects for this month. So that is October. Now, if you are unfamiliar, both myself and Karen from So Little Time, you can find her on YouTube and on Instagram. We are running a Instagram based challenge, which is all about upcycling and it's called So Upcycle 23 hashtag so upcycle 23 and we would love it if you got involved so in today's video i just want to give you a little bit of inspiration of how i'm getting on so far i've made a little bit of progress i'm hoping to make a little bit more um but i would like your opinion on a couple of things as well so if that all sounds interesting i would love it if you could watch obviously the rest of this video and um give me a thumbs up that would be amazing also please do let me know down in the comment section if you enjoy upcycling in, if you're planning on taking part this time and of course if you've got any thoughts about what I'm sharing with you today. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you today is actually not something that I'd originally shared in my kind of sewing plans video that I did um, and that is because it just kind of came to me that I'd got a couple of other things that I could upcycle um, so I decided to uh, get stuck in and have a go. Now with the challenge um, in terms of what you're allowed to do for the challenge it's all about really upcycling something old into something new so that could be a bedspread that you've got at home, it could be some old curtains, it could be a ready-to-wear garment that's not quite right for you anymore, it could be something that you've made before for yourself um, that you've, you've sewn up but it's not quite worked out or maybe you're just not reaching for it in your wardrobe it could it could be any combination it could be a garment for you for someone else and this time also you could also make a bag so I decided to have a go at doing a bag now I don't really do bag making very often but I do enjoy it when I give it a go particularly if it's something that's quite simple that's quite you know straightforward to do and um, you know, it doesn't take me very much time so I feel like I've sort of achieved something quite quickly if that makes sense. Um, so I'd actually got a old Kath Kitson skirt that I just had quite a long time ago and I wore it quite a lot at the time but I've just not really worn it since and it's been sitting in the bottom of my, of my wardrobe and I just thought why not, I love the fabric so I want to upcycle it into something else and my husband was having a bit of a clear out of some of his shirts. So I thought, aha, I'll use one of those shirts for my bag lining. So that's how this project basically came together. So here it is. So I'm actually really, really pleased with how this has actually worked out. So as you can see, I've got this lovely fabric here, which has got these toadstools on um, and uh, the little flower designs and stuff. I, I just love this fabric. I love anything that's kind of the Kath Kitson brand type thing. And um, I just didn't want this lovely fabric to go to waste. So I actually drew round another bag that I'd got that I like the size of and that I use all of the time just to get a bit of an idea of um, the measurements and stuff. And then I decided to use the Sew Over It toiletry bag pattern um, to prompt my memory of um, how to make a square bottom in the bottom of a bag. Um, so I've actually made the bottom of the bag square, um, which I think is a little bit um well, it's a nice design feature, but it's also quite helpful for putting things inside. And then the inside of the bag, as I said, is one of my husband's old shirts. So both of these fabrics were quite um, movable, quite, quite thin and not got a lot of structure to them. So I decided to add on some interfacing to um, both the outside fabrics and also the inside fabrics as well. And Normally, if I was making a bag, I'd probably buy some kind of, I don't know if you call it webbing, but kind of like bag strap stuff um, to put on to the top. But I didn't have any that was the right colour on this occasion. So I decided that I would actually use some of the leftover fabric with these um, mushroom designs on and actually make my own handles as well. So I've done that. So all I've done is kind of turn over the fabric a couple of times and then top stitch it and then sandwich it in between the two layers of fabric there. And then all I've done to finish the top of the bag is literally just done a top stitch all the way around the top of the bag, capturing the straps in there as well. So, but I just think this is going to be a super practical little bag that I can just take to work. I can have my lunch in it. I can take it out and about, you know, 
wherever but I feel like there's actually quite a lot of room in there as well so it's kind of like a mini shopper bag I suppose but I'm really pleased with that so I would encourage you if you have got a couple of leftover things like I had there an old man's shirt that we didn't um you know my husband didn't want to wear anymore and he was actually just well I don't know what he was going to do with it <laughs> I don't know if he was going to give it to the charity shop or not but obviously I'm getting some use out of it now I've also cut the buttons off of his shirt and I've put them into my little uh, button storage box that I've got so that I can maybe use those on another project in the future and I've pretty much used up all of the skirt fabric I've probably got a little bit left uh, which I could maybe use to make a little pouch or something like that but there's not there's not very much left so all in all I feel like I've I've turned two things that were old into um you know one thing that's new that I'm going to get a lot of use out of there so um but I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration of something that you could maybe try at home in terms of a little bag project like that um if you did want a pattern then I'm sure there's loads of free patterns online that you can um get or of course paid for patterns as well um oh I forgot to tell you at the start of the video um what I'm actually wearing today just in case you're interested uh, this is actually um, a Minerva fabric it's a jersey viscose fabric and I've actually joined a couple of patterns together I won't talk about it too much because I'm gonna um, include it in my next kind of like makes video that I do but um, just to give you a bit of an idea so it's the Friday pattern company Lucida pattern um, which I've actually made in a size small at the top and then I've graded out to a medium for from the waist, basically, for the skirt. And then I've added on some different sleeves. I don't know if you recognise the sleeves at all, um, but the sleeves are actually from the Tilly and the Buttons Billy jumper dress pattern, uh, which I'm a big fan of. So I just thought I'd give it a go and see how that worked out. And I'm actually super pleased with it. And to be honest, I've been wearing this dress so much since I made it. I just really like it. It's super comfortable, particularly being pregnant at the moment. It's um, you know, it fits over my bump quite quite nicely, and it's yeah, it's just really comfy for being in the house and yeah, just being out and about. So I would recommend the Lucida dress if you've not tried it. I did add four or five inches onto the skirt um, because I'm quite tall, so I think it does come up quite short. So if you are a tall lady um, or a tall person like me then I would um, recommend adding on a little bit of length if you uh, wanted to, but obviously check the pattern pieces and see what works best for you. Right, so the next thing that I wanted to share with you is something that I'm going to start next. So I have chosen some buttons from my little stash of buttons. And if I hold those closer, I don't know if you can see them. Okay, so they're kind of heart buttons. Um, which I have had in my button box for ages. I think I bought them maybe from Stratford-upon-Avon Stratford somewhere when I was there visiting a friend. And I quite like to pick up buttons when I see them that are just quite fun. And I think, oh, I'm gonna put those on another project in the future. I've normally not got an idea of what those projects are gonna be, but actually, um, obviously they do come in. So I'm hoping to use these buttons because they're quite chunky, I didn't need loads of them, which is good because I haven't actually got lots of them. Um, and I'm going to put them down the front of this yellow skirt. So this skirt was originally bought from a vintage shop. Um, so it's actually got a couple of elastic panels at the back of the skirt. And then it's um, it's got buttons all the way down the front. Now I'm not too keen on the buttons that are on here at the moment. They're these um, white ones. So I just thought, I'm going to change them. I'm going to change them for these buttons instead. And I just think that that might add something a little bit different to the to the skirt, make it a little bit more modern maybe. Um, but I wanted to ask you what you thought. There's lots of colours in this skirt. As you can see, there's yellow in the background. There's the red flowers, blue flowers, greenery and all sorts. So do you think that these red buttons are going to work okay? I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to put in a little bit of footage of me actually wearing the skirt at the moment. Um, originally, I was thinking that I was going to um, take quite a lot off the length, but now I'm thinking that maybe, actually, I'll only take about an inch and a half, maybe off the length, length, maybe two inches. But again, please do let me know in the comments below what you think about the buttons and also the length of the skirt, and that will just 
help me to um, decide what I'm going to do in terms of changing the skirt into something that is going to be slightly better for me. Now, I surprised myself because I didn't think that I was going to be able to get the skirt on or get it to fit me at the moment um but um it actually does fit okay it's a little bit snug and i'll be honest it will be more comfortable when i'm not pregnant anymore but why not i can upcycle it and you know i will then be sitting there in my wardrobe ready to go uh, for when i do actually want to wear it but i just thought it might add a pop of color to my winter wardrobe i love anything that's bright and colorful it makes me feel happy so i just thought this is going to be um quite a good one to um to to to, to do and, and to upcycle so but do let me know what you think about those things um and also if you think that this is going to work in my winter wardrobe um i think that it might do with a nice kind of snuggly cardigan um a jumper tucked in maybe some tights shoes boots don't know something like that so the final thing that i was going to mention to you today was this m s dress that i've got here originally from m s and it's a ready to wear dress that I bought from a secondhand shop a while ago, basically because I wanted to upcycle it, but it doesn't really fit in its current form. Um, I don't know, and I'm not really sure if it's like my thing, um, but I love features about it. So um, it's made of this kind of cotton dobby type fabric, if you can see that there. Um, and originally I was thinking that I was actually gonna keep it in dress form and you know maybe make some alterations in terms of like, putting some extra darts in the back, um, pulling in the shearing section in the front um, and all that kind of thing. I'm going to put in some footage of me actually wearing the dress so you can see what it looks like at the moment. But I don't know, I've kind of come to the conclusion that maybe it's not the best time for me to upcycle this at the moment and that's because um, as you know I'm expecting a baby soon and my body shape is probably going to change um, afterwards so I've I've put this dress on and I've had a look um, at this shearing section and whatnot around the middle and I just can't really work out exactly what changes I actually want to make to it so one thing that I've got in my mind that I was considering and I was going to ask your opinion on this was basically rather than keeping it as a dress because I, like I said I'm not really sure if it really suits me and if it's yeah just for me so I thought perhaps I could buy some of that sparkly thick elastic that you can get I, I'm sure you've probably seen it around I think they had it at Guthrie and Garney the fabric shop a while ago I don't know if they've still got any in stock, but I guess it's kind of like a Christmassy thing. So maybe it might be coming into the shop soon. But I thought maybe I could cut this dress off at the um, at the middle. There's lots of skirt in it. So I could actually maybe turn it into just a skirt rather than a dress and add on a um, an elastic waistband instead that's actually visible from the outside. So rather than the elastic actually being in a casing, that the elastic would become a feature of the skirt. So I thought perhaps I could maybe get some pink elastic or maybe some navy blue sparkly elastic. Not sure. If you've seen any anywhere, then I'd love to know where. So just uh, leave me a message down below and, and let me know and I, I can have a look into that. But I'd love your thoughts anyway on, on this particular dress. I'd really like the print of the skirt I like that it's got some different features on it it's got a kind of you probably can't really see it on the camera but it's got an extra kind of ruffle detail which runs around the skirt which I think is quite sweet and that makes it a little bit different from other skirts that I've actually already got you know in my wardrobe so I would really like to do something with this I'm just just not 100% sure what is going to be best so um any any thoughts that you've got would be brilliant so just let me know uh, but that's all I've just got to um, chat to you about today. So I hope I've given you a little bit of food for thought of things that you could um, have a go at doing at home. The upcycling challenge, the hashtag so upcycle 23 is running throughout October 2023. Um, so please do post any uh, works in progress pictures. We, me and Karen would love to see them on Instagram. Um, just use the hashtag hashtag. So upcycle WIP, which basically stands for work in progress. And um, that would be great. And we can we can see them and see what you're up to. Um, there is a vlogger tour um, with some of your favorite sewing vloggers. 
happening during this month as well. So do watch out for some of those videos. And um, the reveal date for the challenge is the 31st of October. So all you have to do is post a picture of what the item looks like before. So like my dress as it stands at the moment, and then you know what it looks like afterwards as well when you've actually turned the old thing into the new thing. Um, so just take a picture of that as well. And then, um, Put them both onto Instagram, tag myself, Becky from Notes from the Sewing Room and Karen from So Little Time and use the hashtag SewUpCycle23 and we'll find your entry and um, we can enter you into the prize draw. So we've got some fantastic prizes from a range of different sponsors. The challenge is actually open worldwide so anyone is welcome to join in and um, yeah, just love sort of seeing what you're making, love seeing what you're working on. Um, so do keep us posted on, on what you're actually up to. Um, the prizes are really, really good. So we've got a range of different sponsors, um, things from um, vouchers, PDF patterns, vinyls, all sorts of different things. So yes, um, do uh, enter and you'll be in with a chance of winning one of those lovely things. But until next time, I'll leave it there. I am gonna be sharing soon um, my makes that I've been doing recently, including this dress and um, a few other bits and pieces that I've been working on soon. And um, I am working on my winter capsule wardrobe as well. So I'll keep you posted on how I'm getting on with that. But until next time, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching today. If you have enjoyed watching, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But I will see you again very soon. Bye.